I think we can do a little bit better than this other video. So let's get started. What is going on everybody? We're going to make a video today on how to add plugins to the PSP with an app called Auto Plugin. If you guys have seen my previous video, you've seen um, I may have not done the best job on it. So here we are with this new video. We're going to go ahead and go into our Henkaku app. And we're not going to do anything, we're just going to hit exit, since this is how I get into my PSP jailbreak. And we can quickly test that it works just by going to Vita Shell. And we can see that it launches. Next we are going to go here to our computer and connect our Vita with the USB cable and press the select button so it can connect to the computer. And we're going to go to the link in the description and open it up and you'll see that it is auto plug in to the VPK. We're going to click the download and wait for it to download. And we're going to save it here to our downloads folder just for quick access. I have my downloads folder over here and for easy access I'm just going to quickly drag and drop it onto my Vita. Pretty small file, so it should copy over pretty quick. Fix it out, and we're gonna go back to our Vita right here. And in the directory where we put our VPK, it is right here. I'm gonna click X on this one to install, and it's gonna ask you this package contains extended permissions. You can just click X, it's okay. We'll just wait for it to finish installing. Press the PlayStation button to get out of Vita Shell. And if we scroll down, you'll see that it was right there, the icon that's jumping. We're gonna go ahead and go into it, and it might ask you to update, and if it does, that's fine. Go ahead and update it and let it update. Here it asks me to update, so I'll click X, and I'm just gonna let this running in the background. plugins that you are wanting to look for is non-BPRM. These two right here, you see non-BPRM by the official flow. I'm going to click X to install it. And non-PDRM unofficial. And once 
once we had those two, we're going to go all the way back to the menu and click exit. The PS Vita is going to restart if you are not on Enzo 3.65. Most of you may be on 3.68 and that is fine. So your Vita is going to go ahead and restart for the plugin to take effect. Here's where you're gonna see me jumping ahead into the video. That is because my reader restarted when I used Hankaku, and that's completely normal. Here I just jumped to the exit part. And we're waiting. And non PDRM is officially working right now. So, first, we do need a game. So, we're gonna go into Vita Shell and connect our system back into the computer to add a game. I'm going to go and bring my other window from my other monitor here. And if you download a game and it has two folders like app and patch for example as you're seeing here, you can select both at the same time and drop them into the root of your PSP or I mean PS Vita memory stick. They're supposed to go on the root. A patch is like a fix that they did for the game and app is the app app, you know the actual game. Ready and we are almost done here. We have one last step to do. We're gonna go back into Vita Shell. I know I was in there and I probably shouldn't have exited. We're gonna go to the root of the memory stick, as in right here where all the letters are, and we're gonna click the triangle and press refresh light area. That's going to read everything on the memory stick along with the new games we added and it will add them to the home screen. It won't take long here because I just added one game, but if you add say 5 or 10 games this way, it may take a while for it to actually load everything up. Here you can see that it refreshed one item and I'm going to exit Vita Shell. We're going to scroll down and you'll see that my added game is right there. And now you can just tap on it, click on it, and go straight into the game. And that's a wrap. I hope you guys like this video. Like it if you like it, dislike it if you disliked it. Write a comment to let me know what you think of it. And subscribe for more videos like this one. Thanks for joining me guys and I'll see you in the next one.